G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel and uh, another video. Today I have something a little different. I was um, actually quite a couple of trees recently and this is, um, I know it as Japonica. Someone can correct me um, with any scientific names etc. I haven't done my research enough to <laughs> tell you what it is. But it's a flowering, um, I think it's a, yeah, Japonica, whatever that works out to be. I'll probably put it in the description later in the video, but this is what it works out to be. So, it's um, an interesting piece of material. Now it has multiple trunks. Um, doesn't have a pot, <laughs> so the pot broke. Um, uh, so what's, what's happened is, this is, so it's in a very, um, uh, very compact mix. It's not in a nice open mix, so we, what we're planning to do today, what I'm planning to do today is repot it, of course. Um, it's still early spring, you can see just the shoots starting to come out. It's got a few flowers, which is great. Um, has this lovely pink kind of flower. Um, one thing I did notice, it's got a little tree on the side here. So I'm going to look to separate this little tree on its own and create um, a clump style with the other bit. Not really much change. I might want to, maybe a few of these trees, I might put a few spaces between so I can spread out the, the trunks. Haven't really looked at this tree that well yet but what i probably predominantly want to do is repot it um, into, a, into a bonsai pot and maybe clean out some of the dead bits as well um, so i might do that first so what i'd like to do is try and find is there any dead bits on this tree see there's actually quite a few trunks there's some nice inner trunks interesting yep some dead bits here so i just get my branch cut off and i work my way through it Dead. Seems dead. Yeah. The other thing is sometimes gets quite tangled up, so I might want to consider bringing out, bringing some of these, some of these, some of these branches are a bit twisted. Now I'm working. I'm just pretty much this is my first look at the tree, to be honest, and I'm just trying to see if I can unwind and untangle some of these branches. So it looks like I can slowly but surely. That was, this branch was twisted along the trunk, so now we pretty much have got it out. So now it's a nice, so probably hard to see in the camera, but that was twisted around there, now it's out here, and now I can form another branch out here. So that worked out well. So those are things you look for initially. Let's see, that's good. Now we can let that out. Uh, that, that's a nice tree in there, got to probably space it a little bit more. Space these guys, space this guy. So it looks like we can do quite some, some nice work on this tree already. Um, oh, there's, a, there's a nice big dead bit in here. Probably break it off with my finger. Look at that. It's pretty, pretty, pretty fried there. Let's come in here and clean that one up. The nice, nice, nice tree in here as well. So what's what this tree is? It's become almost a very, very close together and starting to grow on top of each other. I want to just span it out now. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing. Might put a bit of wire before I repot it. But once I repot it, I don't really like to move the tree for a while. Um, there's a lot of weeds. So that would be the thinking. I mean, yeah. there's this big bit in here that's quite dead. And it's just got one little shoot on the side at the top. So. I don't think it's worth having that in there, but we'll see. I might take that out, might leave it, because there's lots of other other trunks and branches in its place. Um, it does have two minor, two minor little branches at the top towards the back, but it looks kind of ugly. So it looks ugly in there as a dead bit, um, and there's nothing too huge growing off it. A couple of branches. That's a, something to consider. Do we take it off? Do we leave it? You know? Do we hide it? Maybe that's a possibility, you hide it with this. So, yeah. Interesting. I really like this little mini guy. I'm happy I'm gonna get that get him out and have a rip and just repot the little mini of that. So be a nice little nice little mini japonica. Um, yeah. A lot of tangly bits here. It's interesting, it looks like a root growing this way and this way and all the way down from this tree so maybe um that could be come off as well maybe i can dig that out maybe if there's a root under there i might be able to pull that out 
maybe not. But yeah, interesting tree. I, might, I want to probably, actually, if anything, I want to bring that closer. I want to bring that closer in. Maybe we can do that. That'll look better. More, more trunks. More interest. Just looking if there's any more dead bits. Some of the dead bits just break off in my hand. Yeah, a little funky little tree there. So, interesting. So my thinking is, let's, let's get, probably maybe get a bit of wire and let's spread, start spreading these out. Spreading these out. See what I can do. Maybe even put, might not even put wire on some things. Maybe I'll just put a bit of a spacer, just to space them out. Because I'm um, trying to get wiring now, and I'm going to repot it. I don't know what's going to happen. So let me just get a spacer in in, in these areas. Um, could we, I'll just probably use some pine bark or something, whatever I've got around the place, and I'll put spacers. You can put little wire, um, like little braces in between, but you know, that's a bit of work. Might might be do the easy way up. Um, and what I'll do is, as I, as I work through it, I'll um, I'll change around. But see, these are the things, the processes you go when you get a new tree. You've got to look at it. That was my first look. Saw some interesting bits. Saw some twisty bits. So I spread them out. Spread out some of these trunks. Yeah, try and maybe when I repop, bring that back in. Little things like that. Spread it out more so that I want a bit more wider canopy. A wider bit in here. This is a bit too high. I just want a bit more wider. So I want to try and get that that kind of look. Cool. All right, let me go get my spaces and I'll and I'll see what I can do in terms of spacing things out. Um, maybe I'll put some wire on it. I'll have some wire ready. I want to try and get this guy out too. Um, that'll be the next step. Okay, so we'll be back soon. All right. So the more I look at this tree, the more it's even more fascinating. I'm really enjoying what potentially this can this tree can be. Um, whilst I want to put a bit of wire on this tree, there's some really nice shapes and, and bits and pieces. I mean, I just noticed there's this guy, he's kind of almost a standalone tree in here. So I'm going to see if I can get him out as well, separating. I'll bring that back in because I just realized it's actually attached to the main trunk somehow. So there's a big root that might have formed or a tree and then they're fused. So yeah, interesting. So I just want to start to spread some of these out. Might put wire on a few things, spread some things out, just purely like this. Just put a little wedges in there for now. I mean, ultimately, I want to wire this tree, but I just want to see some sort of shape in this tree just to show you what I'm thinking. So, putting a wedge in there just opens that up. Put a bit of a wedge in there to show you that little guy there. just wedge things in so that I know what roughly the tree can look like without having to go and rewire everything um, yeah give you some interest so I've spaced that space this space this one um, this side might need more rough and more wire kind of thing so I'll probably need wire to get that into place probably wire some of these guys but it's a big job I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of branches here that we've got to go through um, and wire out but I just want to get a rough idea of what I want to do with the tree so it's by just spacing a few things it's really starting to spread this out nicely yeah interesting really cool little tree mm. so I might put a, put a bit of wire oh, hang on. I want to actually see if I can get him out so whilst I'm eager to wire this tree and see what it looks like. I think um, just having the wedges in the, in the spots we need, for example, I might even put a wedge in here. 
just to kind of show you, you know, eventually this is where, this is how this one's going to sit. It's going to sit out there, so see what I mean? But there's a lot of work to happen inside here, all these branches. So I've got to wire things up. You know, wire this up, wire things up. So, you know, you have a think, you have a thought, yeah, can we do this today? Can we style it? Can we do all this? Yeah, possibly, but I think trying to repot it and see what the roots are now, it's probably more important than trying to get these branches in the right place. But it's nice to see, if I space things out, what the image is going to be, and it's going to be look really good. It won't take long. Um, I'll, let the, I'll let it recover in its pot and make sure it pushes growth, and then I'll probably start, start to wire it up. So, yeah. so this is the process when you acquire trees. I mean, I haven't had much time to look at this tree, um, but I like the look of it, I guess. But let's, let's see what we can do with the roots now. Very nice. So now this time of year is starting to get much a bit more warmer in the spring. Um, I don't usually use my gloves now. Um, I want to see if I can get this guy out. I'm just using my root rake, two prong, this one is. You can pretty much use most, lots of things, but I like this tool. Now it feels very wobbly in here, so I would think I should be able to get this out quite easy. Um, the soil, soil is very fine, but the soil is very fine and I don't like that, so it really has to come out. I'm going to give this tree a wash as well. Seems to be lots of heavy roots down the bottom. It's like almost intertwined each other. So probably not the best work that was done previously in reducing these roots. So that's the things you gotta look out for. Yeah, see how they're right around? It's just grown so much maybe. They're very thick and entangled, so they're gonna come off as well. Let's see what we can do here. I think it's just intertwined into the main tree a bit too much. So it might eventually be just, let's cut it off, if we have enough roots. So I'm just working through that now. That's some very long, so you can see the very long bits that are intertwined. How good is that? How good is that? It's got a nice little base as well. So what I what I pretty much go and do is take off the big one. I need that and take off this heavy one. And I try and leave as much as this as I can. However, they're a bit long, so. So that's, that's, that's a good little tree. Now I'm going to go wash these roots just to get all this fine soil off it and then I'm going to repot it. So I'm not going to touch any of this, but I'll leave, just leave it. Good little mini. Hope you can see that. Okay, it's a nice little fat base as well. So let me wash that and I'll come back and repot it.
Okay, so I'm back and I washed all the old soil off and you can see nice healthy roots, the nice and whitish looking, all that nice light color. That's good news. Now I won't actually put it into, I'm gonna put it into this little blue pot. It's a lovely little blue pot. Um, I think it'll look good and it sits quite nicely in there. And I like to have it raised so you can see the, you can see the fork. Hopefully you can see the fork there, maybe, <laughs> um, in the roots. So that looks quite nice. So it's just a simple process today, getting this into a new pot and tying it in somehow. It's going to be interesting. Got one of more soil in this bit. Probably don't need to tie it in as desperately because it's quite a small tree. Let's let's get it let's get it recovering before we get started. could use my chopsticks but this is quite small it's just a matter of tapping it and it should just all drop in so now I've got a little mini on the way so by just separating out one of the trees from that that group so there could be possibly another one I'm gonna have a look if I can get that out too but how cute is that I well, will be cute I'm not touching it I'm not styling I'm not doing anything just let it recover now let it shoot um, let it get used to its new soil and pot um, and that's something nice and quick it's not, in, it's not even in the final position in this pot. Just think about it. It's just an easy little tree to work with. So that one's done. Let's have a look at what else is in here now. So I know this side is quite tangled and we've got to get stuck into it. I want to see if I can get him out, but it's a now matter of let's get some of this sort get rid of some of this soil. So yeah, none of this soil I will reuse in my mix, so. In my bond, my, in my bonds of potting mix, I reuse, um, I um, clean, it, like wash it, clean it, and then we can reuse it in my growing on trees, but not in my farm trees. But this soil is not, not, not going to be used. It's too fine. Um, so I'm just going to put it in the garden bed, pretty much. So he's quite loose. I reckon I can move him right in, which is what I want to do, and I want to see if I can get him out. There is a lot of roots in here that I think are not required. They're just kind of round and round and round in the pot, so probably not the best. Probably needed to be root potted and and, um, and uh, worked on a bit more to get a finer root system. And that's what we'll go for. Got to get this into a finer root system. So it should be okay this time of year. It's it's, it's spring. It's starting to spring. You see, just starting to shoot. So this all these heavy long lines will come off pretty much. So I just want to show you what happens. So you can see you got some monster amount of roots that are probably not required. But what we want to do is try and brush them out so we know what we're cutting off. And the nice fine stuff is all up here, which is what we want. This this heavy stuff, even though it's got fine bits at the end, you can never repot it with all this heavy stuff. So we're just discovering this together. So really cool. Well, not cool in terms of oh, some nice roots that are we just we'll just so some nice roots that are part of the main bits, so we'll just push them back down so they can grow on. And you see this bit now, it's quite loose and even so I can actually push him right back in. I just want to see now if I can get him out, if he's, if he's um, not tied to anything. He 
pretty, he seems pretty firm in there. But when I give this a wash, so I can wash all the roots, I'll have a look. But this one definitely sounds loose. I can push him right back in. That's going to be good news. So I don't need such a big pot then. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I know it's, it sometimes can be long, but this is the process you need to go through, I guess. Well, you have to <laughs> um, go through. So whilst not, I'm not going to waste any more time with these roots, get some nice, very sharp scissors. Now what I do is I hold it. Oh, look at that. I found a piece of mesh in there. How unusual. <laughs> and it's right up higher. Okay, anyway. So I hold them up and I cut straight down. Oh, there's another piece of mesh. What the? I think this must have been in a smaller pot or something at one stage. And they just moved the tree off into another pot. There you go, look, there's a piece of mesh. And I found another one somewhere too. So it could have been in a smaller pot and it just got potted up into this big one. But we took a lot of roots off. But these aren't, these are not what we need. We can't use anything with, and you can't use this in, in, the bonsai, in the bonsai pot. So that's all gone. I'll go in the recycle bin. These plastic must have been in a smaller pot at one stage. And there we go. So now, we have a much nicer, smaller, um, finer foliage, but nice fine roots, which is what we want. Um, fantastic. This is actually getting really exciting now. A very exciting little tree. I think this got moved, but that's all right. Um, so now we're going to wash this all this old soil off. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right. So I gave it a good wash. Um, you can see the nice, healthy roots. See how they're nice and white. They're nice and healthy, no really nothing dead, nice fine roots at the bottom. I've got most of the old soil off. Um, I think in time we'll just come off even more. Uh, this is very flexible, I can work him right in, so that's fine. This guy, which is what I want to remove, is pretty much fused into the trunk, so there's no chance I can do that. But what I'm planning to do there is actually try and move him eventually out here, and he'll create that nice canopy in there. And then this guy will just sit behind him to look like there's another trunk in the back there. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, my hand's in the way, but if you put it in there, it looks like multiple trunks in that area. So that's what I'm planning to do. All I have to do is wire him into this base, into this tree here. And it should hold. Just make a little, um, just make a little tie. So it's hard. I'm trying to show you guys as well as trying to do it. It's a bit tricky. So just tie him in. When I eventually wire him out, you can see then you can see, I'll try and show you. If you wire him out, you can see the trunk behind it. That was the plan. So it should work out really well. So that's pretty much it. Now I'll just pick a pot for it. I think eventually this tree is going this way, so we might, I need to probably move it forward. Because this, this trunk's coming forward, but this one's kind of going back, so we'll have to work on that. Um, the other angle, not too messy. That's probably definitely the front. Um, so yeah, let's see what pot we can put it in. Got a few. Got a few pots. Let's have a look at this blue one. I don't like the squareness, but it's a nice size. So if put it in, put it in there like that. Nice size. Let's try something else. It's a bit small, so that would be nice, but it's too small. Let's have a look. Oh, this is quite nice. It's a bit more shallower. Well, that's quite good too. I think I like that one. Plan on this angle a little bit. And just imagine this this wide this way. Yep. That looks nice too. I like that. I like the look at that. 
And I've got a slightly heavier pot, so maybe that's, so that's leading. So I'm going to move the blue one away. The blue one's pretty good too. I don't think so, I think that's better. And I've got this heavier one. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's nice too. Hmm. It's a little heavy though. But the tree looks really nice against that against that green. Let's have a look. It's quite nice. I have to choose. Sometimes that's what happens. You just see I haven't done anything pre before. So and then there's this one. Hmm. So this is the process you go through. I'm not didn't do anything pre-work, but I do like this more. Just I think it's a little shallower. Uh, the, the, even though the, the, corner, the corners are like rectangular, it would be nicer if it was a round or oval pot. But this, I think it's just too heavy, it's just too thick. Just a little, if this was a bit thinner, this was about here, I think it would be beautiful. But it's just too thick. Um, so this expects a much heavier tree. But it does look good in it, so it doesn't look too bad in it as well. So it's hard, it's a tough choice. You know what? This isn't this isn't the final repotting of this tree, so it'll change over time. But I'm going to stick with that one. Okay, I'm going to stick with that. So quickly, just prep the pot, and I'll be back in a minute. All right. So prep the pot. Put some tie wires into it. Let's get the tree some soil in there. I'm going to mound it a little bit this one, a little bit more on this side because I want to sit the tree this way and let the tree flow this way. Work it in. Always falls out, that's all right. Just going to put a bit of soil at the back. I wanted to try and raise it a little bit forward. So. It's not too bad. So the good thing is I can thread it through the middle of this tree that they've got. So because it's quite a solid base, it's all clump together. So I can do that. It's not too bad. Might go a little bit more that way. those roots buried with the soil so you gotta imagine when it's more wired out and it look quite something quite special all right let's get some soil in i'm gonna work it in with chopsticks i'll have to grab my chopsticks in a minute so pretty much when touch this tree i want it to recover and grow new roots in my mix. So I won't pretty much touch this tree for a good six months, I think. And then we'll come back and have a look and maybe we can wire it and get some get some something happening. So I'm just like a trip stick. Use the chopstick, work your soil in. Sometimes you get these roots that stick out. One little trick is get a bit of wire. And make a little hook kind of thing like this. And you can just press it in and it hooks it in. See, it's gone. 
So do you see that? So any time you see like one of those little, you know, bit of root that's hanging out, it's a bit thicker than normal, and it won't stay down, just use that kind of technique. Just make a little hook, uh, just a little prong, and just push that prong back in. And it was quite a, it was a slightly heavier one, so that's why it needed that little bit extra. The smaller ones just get buried. So there's no real problem there. I hope you guys can see that, it's pretty cool. Things come up really nice. There's a first three pot, um, lots of work to do in the future, but it's a great one to work. Great piece of material, I think, very interesting, very unique. It's gonna be something quite fascinating in the future. Um, it's very much a broom style clump, clump and a broom kind of looking tree. It's gonna flower, it's gonna look very pretty. Uh, just gotta now work on it. In six months time, I'll probably come back and have, see how healthy it is and how strong it is. And hopefully it's really starting to you know enjoy the soil mix that's in and and just take off so there you go i'm just going to water the tree in and i'll probably just moss it around this area where the roots were so that tries to stay moist in that area well probably a very long video i haven't really worked out how long that was but there's there's the approach you take when you get a new tree and see how the soil is important getting those roots is more important than styling the tree right now so even though I like to just position things and have a look what the tree can look like in the future, I had to go had to look at the roots and guess what? I really needed some work there. So that's why they were removed. And um, this tree now pretty much is in the first step to the next phase. So let's get the roots right, then let's work on the rest of the tree. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that guys. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can get notifications of new videos. More to come in the future. See you guys. Thank you.